When you've been working in the industry for over 30 years and you want to buy a special vineyard, you don't care what the terms are. Sometimes you will even inherit the sheep. Clay, thank you so much for having us here. And I think we need to tell folks where we exactly are because this is pretty darn special. So where are we? We are in the Coombsville region of the great Napa Valley. And Coombsville was the most recent uh, appellation to get approved. And it, it's uh, the coolest spot in the valley where you can still get Cabernet okay. Sauvignon to ripen on a regular basis. And so it also is very distinctive because it's got a very uh, diverse set of soils because we're close to San Pablo Bay, which mm -hmm. runs right into San Francisco Bay, which goes out into the Pacific Ocean. So that's what helps keep it cool. And then on the other side, we have a vol old vol uh, uh, delinquent. Um, dormant. Dormant. Yeah, dormant. Thank you very much. Uh, the, uh, a volcano that gives some uh, uh, fertile, fertile soil from uh, the volcano. Well, how did you particularly find this spot, and, and what was it about this vineyard that spoke to you? Well, we wanted to be out in the country. We had lived in uh, normal, uh, you know, neighborhoods, um, mm -hmm. and we thought that it would be really nice to be out in the country. My wife and I met at Robert Mandavi Winery, and so we were both interested in wine, and, and we love wine. Uh, and so we looked and looked and looked and looked, and we finally found this place. In fact, she looked at it one day, and I looked at it another day. <laughs> And then we were going on vacation to Spain. I remember it vividly. And so we both looked at it that same day that we were headed to the airport. And we said, we love it. And they, they happen to have some sheep here. Well, that was, I think, one of the interesting negotiating stipulations. Indeed. So <laughs> you don't what, find what, this every day. It, it was 2001, and the economy was good. 9-11 hadn't happened yet. And so we, put in, we made an offer that said we wouldn't put a contingency on, uh, on our own uh, then house and we would take their four sheep that their kids had raised in um, 4-H. Two days later, our agent calls and says they've accepted your offer. My wife's still in bed and I said, they accepted our offer. And she goes, fantastic, we'll call it Inherit the Sheep because we're never gonna inherit anything else in our lives. <laughs> Well, you mentioned earlier you spent some time working for Mandavi. Yeah, I was there for 14 years. I had a great pleasure of working directly with Mr. Mandavi and, and his uh, uh, wife, Margaret Beaver Mandavi. It was a fantastic, fantastic place to be. I was very lucky. And, and I hear people speak about Mr. Mandavi with such accolades and just extreme pride. What is it about what he was able to introduce to you as it relates to wine? And, and how is that matriculated today with what does wine mean to you? Well, wine is just an incredibly uh, sophisticated, not sophisticated thing. He, he would say, his, one of his favorite sayings is, um, was, uh, like what you drink and drink what you like. He didn't want people to be intimidated by wine. And so they were the first ones really, probably anywhere in the world, to actually reach out to consumers and ask them to come into their winery. I think yeah. the tradition lives on. It I, does, yeah. I also liked one of his favorite sayings was, Everybody is entitled to the good life, and wine is a part of the good life. In fact, he did taste and inherit the sheep while he was alive, and his, his wife, uh, Margaret Beaver Mandavi, had some too, in fact. They both came to our uh, reception. We got married in Hawaii, but uh, they both came to, to that. So I, you know, I, got, I just got really lucky to get that job to be with them. Well, thanks for sharing it with us, and everyone else too. Cheers. Yeah, my pleasure. Cheers. Thanks for being here. Oh, likewise. Just an awesome fantastic story with Clay. The Mandavi family really has been instrumental in this entire valley. We thank you all, Cellar Angels, for the support, and you definitely need to get some of this. Inherit the sheep. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.